Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Let's see where our adventure is going to be taking us next. I think in our last one, we kind of wrapped up some of the Harada Estate area. Not all of it, but part of it. And then took out the, the big chained ogre. And now we're kind of hanging out over here again. And we're going to try progressing along. First thing you want to do is go up this way. Slowly take out all of our friends right here. He's kind of stuck. <laughs> oh, got shot. <laughs> That's always fun. One more guy over here, I believe. Oh, is our friend already coming on over? I think he is. I'm just gonna reset everything. Okay, I only see the mini boss now. I don't see any other helpers. Just kind of work our way around. Wait for the perfect time to be a little sneaky. And make a whole bunch of noise, okay. Just sneak right around here. Okay, we got our first death blow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there we go, we're down. <laughs> And we hop back up. Okay, let's get some space here. Oh, I got it. Okay. Oh, he got us. <laughs> Oh. 
Okay, we got another prayer bead. A little sloppy, but we did make our way through. That's what we get for taking a couple of days off from Sekiro. <laughs> get back in the flow. Okay, then we're going to run over this way. Divine Confetti. Confetti imbued with a divine blessing made for driving away apparitions. The paper is made ceremoniously whereby pulp is spread thin using water from the exalted fountainhead. As the gods bless the waters, so too will the confetti bless one who basks in its touch, allowing attacks to connect with apparition-type enemies. So Divine Confetti is very good whenever you're fighting some type of ghostly-like creature. I mean, it adds a, a buff anyway, but it especially works against them. Temple posting. Turn back if you value your life. You can't behead the headless. Our swords and pikes did nothing. Very ominous, but a little kind of a reason why you get divine confetti in this region. And then hop on over and jump. And jump and grab. It's always kind of funny to me that Sekiro's holding onto the ledge while holding his his sword. Always funny to me. Ooh, a gotchin sugar. Nice. And hop on down. Hop on down. And crouch. Now here is that enemy that they were talking about that is headless, where their weapons do nothing against them. There he is. Just kind of hanging out down there. Not something we're going to worry about yet. Much later in the game we will take a look at all the headless. I like to say there are five different versions. jump. Okay, took out some lizards here. And poisoned. <laughs> okay, we're going to want to take a quick antidote powder. have any oil, I need to have that. More antidote powder, that's nice that it's right there. Divine Grass, a secret medicine that fully restores vitality and cures all status abnormalities. One small part of Ashina is exceedingly old. The ancient soil, rocks, and water that pervaded the land are said to have attracted the attention of the gods. Dr. Dojin studied the plants in this ancient place resulting in the recipe for this special medicine. I kind of like to save those for when you really need them, though. I don't think there's anything else here, but... It's kind of cool where we are now. Right where we left off. And I think we have everything now. And we have four prayer beads, so we can upgrade. Okay, let's rest. First prayer necklace. Loose prayer beads strung together in offering to a sculptor's idol. Increase the maximum vitality and posture. A prayer ne bead necklace befits the strong. The ferocity of Ashina's army is renowned throughout the nation. Its generals are especially talented, every one of them accomplished in the Ashina sword style. Okay, awesome. 
Okay, and one skill that we're definitely going to want is Breath of Light, or Bre Breath of Life. Because you acquire the lightened skill Breath of Life, which recovers vitality upon performing a successful death blow. We want to get that as quick as we can. So first things we're going to have to do, I believe, to get Breath of Life is... Gotta get these. Shinoma's Karma Body goes right along with it. So, we're really close to another skill point. And a great place to farm in this section is right here. We'll just quick get a skill point before moving on. And get some gold, which is nice. I think just one more time should do it. Oh, hell, it's nice. You guys probably feel a little bit of deja vu happening. See, now in that situation, if we have Breath of Life, every death blow would result in regaining some health. And there we go. Always want to get, when you're close to um, a skill point, always try to get it. Just because then if you die, you don't lose that point. Okay, let's rest, and... Oh, wrong one. Okay, so we still have to get to Prashinoba's Karma for body. And I think we still have to get Midair Deflection as well. This goes here. Okay. We are working our way toward more skills, but we can continue. As the earth is shaking and quaking. Kind of makes you think about the snake skin we saw earlier. Up close and personal. Hug the wall over here.
and take our time. We don't want the snake to see us. Get right into the Lonquin. And wait for our moment to strike. I <laughs> just want to run this way real quick. Oh boy. Hey, we're taking too long. Oh boy. <laughs> Good lord, that was not what we wanted. <laughs> I swear, sometimes getting past the snake, it's not so much the fighting, it's just the snake itself. But as you can see, very angry after losing that eye. Okay, I'm also grab this item over here real quick. Paco's sugar. Grab our idol. And rest. Okay, some more gotch and sugar. And we got this guy over here to take out real quick. Herb Catalog Scrap. Page torn from the Ashina Herb Catalog. Compendium of flowers and herbs. The snap seed naturally grows in ravines and deep valleys, according to denizens of the Sunken Valley. Such places are appropriate for offering oneself in marriage to the Great Serpent. If one wishes to become a bride, they must enter the belly of the serpent in the valley. Very interesting. Yeah, we actually missed one of the snap seeds. Um, one of the areas to get it. It's right by where we plunged into the serpent's eye. Okay, let's do a quick rest. I think we have enough time to keep going. We're only at 17 minutes. Let's see. Do we have all the skills we want? Not sure. Slash. Grappling quick attack. Okay. We've got an eavesdrop situation coming up over here. <laughs> Poor horse. More fistful of ash. We got this guy over here. And I think this way is locked for the moment. Yes. So we got some more pellets, and we're gonna want to switch out our tools right now and put on the Shinobi Firecracker. We'll be using that in a moment. Let's hop over this way. Okay, there's our big friend. Take him out first.
Okay, one more guy to go. Ceramic Shard, maybe Balloon of Wealth, and Heavy Coin Purse. Awesome. And I think that should do it for this section. And another Ungo Sugar. Awesome. Now we can listen to our remnant. Very interesting. Okay, let's do a quick reset. Because we got a boss coming up soon. The first, like, I'd say main boss of the game. From now on, we, from now till this point, we've pretty much just been dealing with mini bosses. Okay, so we're gonna want our firecrackers on, and I wonder. I think that should be it. Hop on down. Let's see, what sugar should we take for this one? We have six Ungo, only two Akko. Let's take an Ungo, actually, then. It's going to temporarily reduce vitality damage, so that might be helpful. And we never really get to use these that much. <laughs> We got our first death blow. One more to go. <laughs> Went the wrong way. <laughs> To the wall we go.
and Shinobi Execution. Not too bad of a fight, actually. Memory of Gayobu Oniwa. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe, lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with a sculptor's idol and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. Gayobu Mstak Masataka Oniwa was keeper of the Ashina Castle Gate. And Mechanical Barrel. Mechanical Barrel that can be given to the sculptor and able prosthetic tool upgrades. Awesome. It appears to have been made to fit perfectly inside the wrist bone of the shinobi prosthetic. A reinforced core is sure to make the shinobi's fangs even sharper. Okay, very cool. Okay, awesome. And reflections of strength. Cool. Oh, and we're up to three points now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is enhance our attack power by confronting the memory. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe, although distant, recollection of such a memory provided sustenance for the wolf. Gayubu Oniwa once led a group of infamous bandits, but was defeated by Ishin, who was so captivated by his show of strength that he took him in as an Ashina warrior. Oniwa would later go on to become Genichiro's Ashina's most trusted retainer. But now our attack power has enhanced, and that is awesome. Okay, acquire skills. We want Shinobi's Karma's Shinobi's Karma body. And now we need five more points to get Breath of Life. It's definitely going to be worth it, though. Okay, let's see what we want to do next here. I think we can quickly do this part. Oh, we don't need our firecrackers anymore. That guy didn't make it. <laughs> Another important merchant. Okay, I believe he can buy a gourd seed, which is awesome. Definitely want that. Like coin purse and some other items. Pick up a coin purse. Okay, and then we're gonna want to go over here. And make a new friend. Nezumi ga mo ipiki. Ya sono me. Ueta okami ka. Kiru mai ni naoki te yaru. Nanori! Washi ni nanoru nanado nai ka. Shinobi wa taigai sou ja. Nanorazu shinioru. Janga. Sono hidari ude. Shinobi gisto wa natsukashi. Naru hodo. Sekiwan no okami ka. Kini itta zo. Naraba. Sekiro. Okay, 
このアシナにはネズミが入り込んでおるうじゃうじゃと我が物顔でなネズミもいろいろじゃがそれを片端から切り捨てるのよどうやらお主にも一切りの才がその才を磨くのに役立とうどうじゃ関路ネズミ狩りを捨てぬか Okay, you're gonna want to accept. Show Chista. Yosh, Sekiro. Naraba Koreo Kuretea. Rat description. A description of the rats that have snuck into Ashina. Speak to the Tengu again once the rats are dealt with. The rats are assassins from Senpu Temple. Short stature, wear bamboo hats. Number of rats are lurking about. Less seen around Ashina Castle Gate. <laughs> ネズミの顔、それと巣穴じゃ。切ってまいり。さすれば、お主の戦に役立つものをやろう。OK、awesome。ペレット、and we can open this、just have the shortcut、even though we're probably not gonna ever use it。It's just not a real big need to come back that direction。あんたが生き残ったのかい鬼の行部様もやっと屍になれたかねけれど何も変わりゃしないよ戦は続き屍は積まれ遠鎖ばかりが満ち満ちるあんた考えたことがあるかいそういう遠鎖がどこに積もっていくのかをないだろうないだろうねだからこそあんたもあやつも哀れなことだよさあもう行きバ,バが何を語ろうが戦はなくならないあんたのお役目も変わらないそういうものだよ。That's a little bleak, <laughs> always love the information. Okay, we want to go up here next. Let's see where is our jumping off point? Like coin purse. Another prayer bead. Okay, a couple more, and we can enhance our attributes, which is always good. Okay, I think that should about do it in this area. But we're going to want to go right on over to. The dilapidated temple. Because we can upgrade our cord charges all the way up from three to four, and we have to hand over that tool to the sculptor. Oh, Kamidono, you are a good one. We should have four now. Awesome. I forget if the maximum number is nine or ten, but we are getting closer. Shinobi 
真となるこの仕掛けがあれば筒薬と組み合わせお前さんの忍び騎手の牙をさらに研ぎ澄ますことができる筒薬とは何だカラクリ術と共に使う鉄のくずあるいは炎症といったものじゃな使えそうな筒薬を見つけたら持ってくるといい Okay, present and upgrade. Let's see if there's anything we can do here. I don't think so. So we need more scrap iron. And for this one, we just need more gold. Or sand, I should say. Okay, I wonder if we can quick go this way. Travel to the stairway and see if that merchant has some scrap iron. He does not. <laughs> okay, well, either way, I think we're about wrapping this one on up. We're pushing 40 minutes, and we're about to head to a new area, kind of. Or a new section in this kind of area. Let's see if we head on over to... to travel... We're getting closer to Ashina Castle. Okay, I wonder if this merchant had any. Hopefully, otherwise we'll just kind of end it on this on this section right here. So we're still looking for scrap iron. Well, with that, I think we're about good for this one. We got through some decent progress. And took out the first main boss of the game. And we got some more mini bosses coming up next. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. And we'll be talking again real soon.